Hey Brainiacs, this is just a quick update. You're going to be hearing several episodes in the next few days. Uh, they are rerun episodes from several years ago, uh, holiday-themed episodes. They're mostly oriented around Christmas. That's my background, my tradition, and so uh, that's just where I come at it from, mostly. Uh, I hope you know from listening, this is a show that is quite open and embracing of all traditions and all different types of people. We talk a lot about diversity, neurodiversity, but I don't know, there's just lots of that going around that is, is very important. So um, so I hope it's okay with you that a lot of these center around that. Uh, over the next few days, up until the uh, traditional Christmas holiday, December 25th, you're going to hear these reruns. Um, when I put on, there's a couple of new episodes that'll launch a little bit closer to then. I'll put a big N-E-W in all caps, uh, for those so that you'll know which ones they are. So I hope you enjoy that. One quick thing. Did you know that uh, when you work as a therapist, sometimes people ask you, like, what are some tips for surviving the holidays? That actually happened to me twice when I worked in a community mental health agency. We got a call from a reporter um, two different years in a row, actually, and for some reason it got routed to me. They always just kind of look around and say, who's not in session right now? <laughs> so they say, do you want to talk to this, to this uh, person? And so they pipe it through or, well, I should say transfer it. That's the modern technological appropriate way of saying that. And uh, just answering a few questions. And as with all therapy and mental health services, it's, it's not always real easy to boil down what you do in therapy to a few tips. But, um, but it was interesting to uh, share a couple things. And I think you'll find that you see these all over the place. These tips are essentially lower and dismiss as much as you can your expectations. I think about what you want to do today to celebrate your holiday and this year to celebrate your holiday. The interesting thing is traditions and nostalgia can give us comfort, but particularly for a certain type of us who may have some ADHD sprinkled in or um, like myself, I have ADHD, uh, at least the symptoms. And my primary diagnosis is bipolar disorder. And so for me, that can be uh, dangerous to get overly invested in repetition uh, at, at all cost of the traditions and feeling like I'm letting everyone down if we don't do the exact things. So it's not that compromise and sharing expectations or sharing traditions isn't good, but as much as possible, it's great if you and your family, your partner, whoever is around you, if everybody can kind of agree to relax a little bit. If you feel like having a cookie night, have a cookie night. Just do it. But don't worry if you don't, if, you, if you've done one in the last three years. Uh, don't let things get on top of you. The holidays are a creation of people. I mean, we decide, hey, let's have a holiday around this time. That's one of the reasons why there's so many shared traditions. It's one of the reasons why there's so many pre-Christian uh, practices that were adopted into Christmas. Uh, one of the reasons that we have so many of those is because we decided as a group. I mean, hell, figure out, you know, a couple times a year, at least around where I live, we decide to change the time a whole hour. We're like, uh, it's not it's not 3 a.m. anymore, it's 2 a.m. Okay, everybody good? No? Arizona? Okay, fine. Do what you want. So uh, you, we can decide to do a lot of different things, and we can adapt that on a smaller level, a micro level with ourselves and those that we love. Um, particularly if there's agreement. But if there isn't agreement, you might need to have a boundary around that as well. So there's a Instagram and TikToker named Connor DeWolf who talks a lot about neurodiversity, autism spectrum, and ADHD thinking in particular. Those are his diagnoses. And um, I really like, I'd, I'd suggest you go check him out and follow. But um, he has a phrase that he likes to kick around called chase the dopamine or follow the dopamine. And when you do have uh, neurodiverse aspects of your life, or if you're just the kind of person who is whimsical and enjoys embracing things, those are not mutually exclusive, by the way. Uh, but if you're the kind of person who's bursting with that type of creativity and that type of open-mindedness, man, I would really uh, encourage you to go with it and say, what does my creativity take me? What do I do to celebrate my holiday and uh, my this time of year? Or what do I not do? And that's also okay. However you feel is how you feel. It's a very complicated time, and it's not always just happy for everybody. And that's okay, too. So I hope over the next few days you enjoy uh, these holiday-themed 
kind of episodes. I'm kind of excited to bring to you some interviews, some people who actually made a holiday-themed movie, non-traditional holiday-themed movie. And also uh, Chris Revel and Brie Poe and I are on talking about a Christmas special as kind of as our tradition. But you'll get to hear several of those if you tune into the reruns. I hope that it becomes, um, you know, a happy thing, a fun thing. And of course, part of your beloved holiday traditions. All that stuff I said about expectations that, you know, get rid of that when it comes to listening to the broken brain as part of your holiday. You have to do that. Come on. Let's be honest here. Um, And I will mention this just this one time, and then I'm not going to mention it for any of the holiday episodes. If you'd like to be part of the show, especially moving forward into 2022, and you'd like to help out, uh, two ways, a couple ways you can do that. You can go to patreon.com slash broken brain if you're in a position to make a recurring few bucks donation every month. If you go to buymeacoffee.com slash broken brain and you'd like to make a one-time uh, kick in to keep the podcasting lights on, it's allowed uh, me to broadcast a little bit more and to share a little bit more with you. And I look forward to doing more and bigger projects and interactions. And in 2022, I want to start some some projects where you can take part in some stuff. And that can be, you know, accessed through those things uh, as well. So the other way you can get involved is uh, tweet at me, at Break a Brain. Share the links to the episode. Also, let me know if there's anything that you're breaking your brain around, anything that's cool or amazing or, you know, anything at all, particularly in the world of psychology, culture, media, entertainment. You know the kinds of things that we like to talk about here. So uh, nominate a guest. Be a guest if you want to. Reach out to me. I am open to to hear from you. Um, thanks so much for listening. It really means a lot that there are people who find something and get something out of this. A few of you have reached out to me over the years, and I, I really appreciate the kind words that you've said. And I just hope that uh, this can be something that you enjoy and maybe even a little bit helpful. So happy holidays, happy seasonal time, and whatever it is that you do with this uh, time of year. I hope that it's something pleasant and fun.